Understanding how your site compares to the competition is one of the most foundational pieces of understanding web performance. It's also one of the best places to start when you're trying to build a performance culture. This is what the benchmark dashboard is actually set up to do. Before we dive into that, it's important to talk about how we set up our competitors. Uh, when you set up a site like you've done for production here uh, with Beer Labelizer, uh, if you click on a competitor, when you set up the site, you gotta have to make sure that you select the site type as competitor. The more important thing is that you make sure that you've got the URL page label here set to the same thing that you have on your production site and those other competitor sites that you wanna actually uh, benchmark against. So let's go back to the benchmark dashboard. What we're looking at right now is basically how this site is stacking up to the competition when it comes to start render over the past month. We can see that our site's here in uh, number one, and we've got a close second here with number two, and number three is a little bit further out there having much slower start render. Uh, as we go through this dashboard, we can see visually uh, what this looks like when the page is actually rendering and how the uh, frame by frame looks uh, for that start render and that overall user experience. Uh, and we can also see uh, ongoing page construction. How many content requests are we making across the wire compared to those competitors where we're doing very well, uh, as well as the sizes where we're a little bit heavier than our, our uh, you know, next best competitor, uh, but quite a bit lighter than uh, that one that's, uh, that's uh, obviously taking up the, the last place here. We get a breakdown of that request uh, by content type. So we can see that you know, we've, we've got about the same uh, request number of images as our uh, you know, primary competitor here. And then this one here has quite a bit more images, so a lot more uh, heavy graphics being sent across the wire. And we can also see the size breakdown. Those requests aren't, aren't, even, aren't only more for images, but quite a bit more when we uh, talk about uh, the size that's being sent, about four meg being sent uh, for that competitor that's in the last place. So. Um, this is a great way to kind of look at that and get a benchmark and understand how you perform. But remember, this is not always something that uh, is really focused on one metric. Uh, so we don't want to tutor our horns too much here. If we look at um, if we look at largest contentful paint, for example, and we go ahead and run this again, now we can see that our LCP is quite a bit slower uh, than our closest competitor here, uh, even though it still is faster than that other competitor that's been in that third spot more consistently. Uh, so why is that? We can see that breakdown across our film strip and see these orange rectangles where the LCP is called out in the frame that it happens. But one of the things I really like to do, and this is great when you're trying to socialize this idea of performance, is understand what that user experience looks like uh, through a frame by frame analysis in this video. We can see our first competitor here finished pretty quickly. Um, we came in second and this page is still painting uh, long after uh, our, our second place uh, stance right there. So uh, benchmark dashboards are a great way to understand how you're performing relative to your competition, what you're doing that they're not, and vice versa, what they're doing that you're not. So you can look at areas to improve and uh, improve upon uh, when it comes to those metrics that you're using to run your business, whether, the, whether those are core web vitals or some of your own custom metrics that you've generated. That's the benchmark dashboard.